One of the best things that you can do for your sleep is to invest in a good set of blackout curtains. Although I've experimented a lot with sleep masks, nothing works for me quietly sleeping in a pitch black room. I've experimented with a lot of different blackout curtains though, and apparently I have a really different definition of blackout versus these curtain manufacturers. It is so hard to find something that will give me that pitch black room like I want. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Ombre Twilight Blackout Curtain Rod and the Eclipse Absolute Zero. 100% blackout curtains to let you know if it's worth the money. Let's go. So the issue that I have with most curtain rods that are on the market is that they're not 100% blackout. They let in light at the top and light in the sides. I was so excited when I found this Twilight Curtain Rod by Ombra because it's kind of innovative. Basically the way that it works is that you can tuck the edges of the curtain behind the rod and the brackets for the rod, they sit below the top of the curtain rod so that in theory, you can have it flush with the ceiling to eliminate the light at the top and the light at the sides. But how does it actually work? So first, as far as tucking the curtains behind the rod, yes, you can actually do it. Depending on how thick the curtains are, it might be a little bit of a struggle. Also, you're gonna need something like a chair or a step stool. You basically need to be able to reach the top of the curtain rod to tuck the edges behind. You're not gonna be able to do it from down on the floor. Now, as far as the brackets go, one thing that I didn't realize when I bought this is that the part that screws into the wall it's separate from the curtain rod. So basically you have to screw the bracket in and the curtain rod slides down on top of it. And what that means is that you're not gonna be able to have the curtain rod flush with the ceiling. You have to have a couple inches of clearance in order to be able to slide the rod down on top of that bracket. So you are gonna get some light at the top of the rod, although you are able to eliminate the light on the sides. My verdict for this is that although it's not 100% effective, it is so much better than anything else that is currently available on the market. Not a lot of manufacturers are thinking about how to make blackout curtains work a little bit more effectively. So even though this wasn't 100% perfect, like I was hoping, honestly, I do think it's worth the money just because it's so much more innovative. Um, and then to go along with that, it's stylish, it's modern. So I would highly recommend it, especially considering they're really affordable. By the way, if you're finding this video helpful, give it a thumbs up so I know you're enjoying it. So next, let's get on to talking about the Eclipse Absolute Zero 100% Blackout Curtains. So an issue that I've had with so many blackout curtains is they're not actually blackout or they have weird plasticky backings and hang weird. Um, I had one most recently where it wasn't even totally opaque and a little bit of light shone through. So I was eager to try these out to see if they're actually 100% blackout. Let's talk about how it works in actuality. The first thing that I was kind of surprised by and I didn't realize is that the front fabric is actually sheer. It's the back fabric that is 100% blackout. Now, one thing to keep in mind when you select your pair of curtains is you're gonna need to be choosy about how the curtains hang on the rod. Almost all the styles for this series have grommets. And having grommets means that's going to let in light at the top of the curtain rod. I had to be very choosy. I had to choose a style that had tabs to hang on instead of the grommets. The other thing that was a little bit disappointing is none of the styles that are currently available have any extra fabric at the top of the curtain above where you hang it. So basically you want a little bit of extra fabric because if you have that extra fabric on top of the rod, that's gonna help eliminate some of the light seepage that happens up at the top. And that's just not something that this curtain currently offers. The other drawback for this is that for mine, because the front is sheer, it's gonna let in a little bit of light at the bottom of the curtain as well. So basically, the sheer fashion part of the curtain is a little bit longer than the blackout backing part. And what that means for my windows is that even though the fabric part is pulling on the ground, the lining part is just the tiniest bit above the edge of my floor. And that means it's going to let in a tiny bit of light on the bottom as well. And then one other thing to keep in mind is the price point for these. It's a little bit higher than what I'm used to paying for blackout curtains. So it's $85 per 
panel. So for my, win my window, I have one window in my bedroom and I need two panels to cover that. If your house was built more recently than me and you have more than one window, that means the price is quickly going to add up. My verdict for this one is that you can get something that works just as effective or almost effective at a lot lower price point. So don't automatically buy these just because you think it's gonna be like the blackoutiest option. If you're looking just for effectiveness, you can find a lot better deal. Go with this curtain because you like the style or because you want something that's higher quality. If you're looking at just effect efficacy, you can find a lot better deal. Sweet dreams.